Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Ladder Bros. I haven't used Ladder Bros for quite a while and this one here is my favourite scent from Ladder Bros. Winwood, sandalwood, pineapple and fennel. I'm not a fan of sandalwood, you guys know that, that have watched the channel for a while. I've just never got into it, but for some reason the sandalwood, pineapple and fennel in this works so nicely together. And it's a phenomenal scent. Now my soap's a little bit wet because I've just used it for my head shave. I rinsed it off and cleaned my brush out. I'll just start from fresh. The brush for today is my Wolf Whiskers Odyssey handle with Blueberry Pie colour scheme. And it's a coin in the bottom made by Peter Wolf over in America. And this has got a 24mm black wolf knot, which is pretty much it's very, very similar to the Tuxedo Knot from AP Shave Club. Extremely, sh extremely similar. Extremely similar. So, if you like the AP Shave Club Tuxedo Knot, which is very soft but has great backbone, then you will love this. I'm just going to wet my face. I don't know why, because I've not even loaded the brush yet. I did have an ingrown here, you can see that, but I've pulled it out. It's not pulled it out, I've just took it out from the ingrown position. I'll shave it off now. And we'll wet the brush. Well, I'll wet the brush. You don't have to wet the brush. And here we go. Get stuck straight into the soap. This should load up nice and easy because it'll be a little bit softer because I've had the water on there in my head during my head shave. It's almost got a peppery note. It's a sweet scent. It's very gourmand. The fennel and the pineapple, it's got a sort of peppery but licorice type thing going on. It's got the sweetness from the pineapple and then you've got that lovely warmth, that nice warming note from the sandalwood. But it's very much a scent that works for the summer or the winter in my opinion. I think you'd definitely get away with this easily in the summer because it's fresh enough and fruity enough. And in the winter that sandalwood carries it for the warmth. It really is a, a very nice all round seasonal scent. Right. That's my brush loaded. Hopefully, I've got enough there. There's no hopefully's about it, there's definitely enough there. Just wet the face again. Scoop out the excess from the tub. Which there wasn't much for the head shave. There's a little bit more for this one, but not much. It's ideal. I squished the soap down into the sides more, and it's worked really well, because it's stopped me from losing soap. I was actually losing soap down in here, you can probably see a lot of air bubbles in there. That was soap going down the side of the soap. Oh, well, not soap, like a load. Just fill the sink up. I'm just going to rinse this tub out now and let it start drying. So, we've just got some good news this week as well. Our youngest son, Max, has gotten through the trial stage. Uh, South Coast Baptist School and we are through the document stage which means if he gets through the document stage and gets accepted for an interview with the principal we'll get to the point where hopefully we might get offered a scholarship at the school for the soccer academy so potentially we could be getting into quite an expensive private school where Max can better his soccer and his education all in the one place and it only costs us a minimal amount The scholarship doesn't pay everything, but the school's about $5,000 a year. I think with the scholarship it costs us initially for the first year, I think it's about 800 and then ongoing every year 200 but then you've got to pay for your excursions and stuff, but that's no different to public school. Right, let's paint this on, that's saying. It's almost got a sort of custard apple licorice. <laughs> I don't know, like, like a pineapple turnover with custard. Then you've got that woodsy, sandalwoody scent. It's, it really is a beautifully blended scent. Now, I'm not sure whether this is blended from scratch or whether it's just pre mixed oils that get mixed together. I don't think there is such a thing as a pineapple. Oh, no, but that probably is a pineapple essential oil. I don't know how they would get it. I'm pretty sure that's what Creed Aventus would have. No, I don't think they would use a synthetic, crappy fragrance. So I'm not sure whether this has got actual pineapple essential oil or whatever it would be. 
mean, look how pasty that is. That's polish, professional lather, that stuff. I'm going to dip the tips. I'm going to spend my time on this and really enjoy it. It's not going to take me a while, this lather. Come on the journey. Why not? Why wouldn't you? I'm just enjoying this. I may even speed this up a little bit, chuck a bit of music on before and after. Just for something a bit different, who knows. So we're almost there, I'm looking for that. Bad enough now. Yeah. That's phenomenal. That's some seriously. Good lather. The smell's incredible, it's easy to work with. The brush is jam-packed full. Let's enjoy the shave. My favourite part of the shave, done. Well, the first part of it done, I get to do it another twice and a little bit more. So here we go with the Carve Christopher Bradley razor in all stainless steel, 3.25 inch handle with the B plate, which is 0.73 blade gap. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. And I've got a second juice Permashap vintage blade, which was gifted to me from Kevy Shaves, and here we go. I've got two days growth. Honestly, I cannot wait for titanium. This is a beautiful razor to use as stainless. As is the brass. I do still prefer the aluminium. I prefer the lighter weight. Don't ask me why, it just feels nicer for me. I feel like I control the shave completely. I find sometimes stainless razors and brass razors and heavy razors in general that they dictate my shave a little bit more and can impact the final result in terms of it.
terms of irritation and stuff. It's a zero prep shave as well, same as my head shave. First pass done. So the lather is a little bit underhydrated, believe it or not. So it's just sticking in between the blade, just a little bit between the blade and the, the plate. I'll just show you it now. Put in the sink back up. So not in so much on that side, but you'll see on that side there. See it? It's not major. You just run something to the water a little bit more. And generally it comes out, but even then it's still clinging on for dear life. It's gone now. So for the second ladder, just going to add a little bit more. I thought that was a weeper, but that's actually that ingrown here. So far, no blood. Residual slickness. It's, there's actually a really nice coating on there. I didn't put enough water in my hands. Beautiful. Now it's not quite as good as Excelsior Noble Water and things. It's definitely not as good as Mitchell's Wool Fat, which is pretty much, in my opinion, just for me personally, that's an elite soap base for me. That's like Rudd's Gives Declaration Grooming's latest one, 100. That'll be the closest to 100 for me out of all the soaps I've used. And that's no disrespect to artisans at all. I just think it's an amazing soap. I love the post you feel from it. Now that I can lather it, now that I realise it's quite an easy soap to lather, and I've got dreadfully hard water. Is it as easy to work with as this stuff, or most artisans? Not really. Mitchell's real fat, you've got to work with it, you've got to give it a bit more time and effort. It takes a lot of water, and it's one of those soaps that's quite it's it's very thirsty but it looks very airy so you need to add water to make it dense it's really weird it's a strange soap Just sent the start razor as well. I've just sent that over to Jack at the virtual groom room. So hopefully that doesn't get stuck in customs and take ages to get there being the sort of busiest time of the year to send parcels. I also made the crazy decision to offload my tote, all my sterling, all of it. So other than the samples that I received from Artisan Arcade, I've got no other sterling soaps in the den. I don't think that'll be for good. But even though they're mentholated, and I'm reaching a point in the summer where it's very hot, it's got up to 40. It's well, we've broken a record today. It's been the earliest time that we've reached 41 degrees on a day. That's the earliest ever in December today in Western Australia. 41 degrees. You've got to say a massive thank you the guy that invented the aircon because to be fair I wouldn't be here without it I'd be back in the UK I'd have been here for a couple of weeks and went stuff this I'll see you later which is a sad thing to say but it's true we're a spoiled generation
the good little weepers down here. You see how they're getting that area quite regularly at the moment. I need to look at my technique down there and what I'm actually shaving, how I'm doing it. Very, very slick soap. Certainly for me, it allows me to go against the grain in several parts. Stunning. Very slick, really nice scent. I don't react to the soap, thankfully. But I do tend to have this thing going on where I don't react to soap for ages and then boom, I react it. Just going to finish off now around the lips. the green. Now I'm going to just stick tick pencil to these little nicks. In fact, I may just add a block and just see if that helps, see if that gets rid of it. What's left of my razor rock Allen block? Here we go. Rotation there with everywhere else so far. No burn on the lips, that's normal. Disgusting. Whew. Lovely jubbly. Just rinse the brush out. That's all that's left to do. Excellent shape. A little bit red down there where the where the weepers were. I do tend to get a little bit down there. I need to work on how I'm doing that and make sure I'm going the right way. I think I'm sort of going against the green too much or something. Throws in a circle down there, like a crop circle, goes all over the place. Just a little bit of soap in the brush. Just a bit of an indicator if you do have a synthetic. That's an indicator for me after I've shaken the brush out a lot that there's still soap in the base of the knot. So there's it's not uniform, even though I'm shaking it really hard. So. Just for lukewarm water, don't ever get, put boiling water or very hot water into your brush. And what I actually do is flush water into the base of the knot, spin it around in a circle, squeeze it out like so, and then I just swish it a little bit on the bowl. all 
the excess and you can see the difference. See how uniform it is now? Just a little tip, because if you leave that soap in there, it can affect the glue bump apparently, or the glue that's holding it in, the resin or whatever you want to call it. Two part epoxy or whatever people use. I also found out, I've sent my, for those of you that don't know, I sent my That Darn Rob brush away. I de-knotted it myself, took the knot out, which was a 26mm Manchurian, I think, fan, or bulb, Manchurian bulb. I took that knot out, got it out easily using the steaming technique that was recommended to me from Rob over at That Darn Rob. And then I sent it off to Surjan and Danicic to have it re-knotted from Rhodium Knots. Now he's received the handle. It's which received it in good condition. He did scare me a little bit. He said, we good news and bad news. So the good news was he'd given me a price. The bad news was he'd given me a price for a 26 mil knot replacement. And um, when he received the handle and measured it, it's actually a 28 mil knot that needs to go in the hole. So it's an extra cost. And that was the bad news. The good news is the handle arrived safely. It was perfectly fine. No, no issues with it whatsoever. And I cannot wait. I've had a look at the knot already. I've seen a, knot, a 28 mil knot in the exact same style that I'm getting. Same hair type and everything, and it looks phenomenal. And I can't wait to get my hands on it. But just a bit of an update that I don't get it. I don't know why they stick a 26 mil into a 28 mil hole. It makes makes it bloom out. Makes it not makes the knot feel less dense. That's what that knot felt like in my in that darn roll brush. It felt very sparse in its in its hairs. So it's getting a 28 mil now dense knot with I think. I think it's two band silver tip, but it has been bleached, whatever they do, there's some, you know, the, to get the tips, to get the sort of gel tips. It's had a bit of a treatment on it, but not too much. And apparently it feels sensational. So I can't wait, I really cannot wait. But anyway, that's enough about me. Let's talk about this. Winwood from Lather Bros. There is your ingredients list right there. It is a vegetal based soap, I believe. Yes, vegetal based. Cracking ingredients list made by a really nice bloke. Andre's an awesome guy, he's a Manchester United supporter. Come on, you Reds, even though they're fucking shit at the moment. And he makes great soaps, his scents are lovely. I think his labelling, honestly, I don't think there's many companies out there with, with better labelling. I think they're excellent. I think the closest to it, or maybe better, would be like, oh god, I don't know. I mean, Barrister Man do, do awesome labels, and it's gone out of my head. But they make union. Oh god! Come on, come on, get it, get it made. From the butcher to the barber. That's terrible. One of my favourite soaps as well. One of my favourite soap makers. Ah, oh, may come back. Who knows? Memory's fucked. I won't even get adverts in this video now. That much swearing in it. The brush was my wolf whiskers. Blueberry pie colour scheme. Odyssey shaped handle made by Peter Wilhover in the States. It really is a stunning brush. 24 mil black wolf knot. You can see how perfect that is. I've used this for two years now and that knot looks as good as the day I got it. Look after your shit and your shit will look after you. It really will. The razor for today was the carved stainless steel B plate 0.73 blade gap with a Permashap vintage blade second use. 3.25 inch handle. It's a beautifully made razor. They really are. I mean, so these are both 3.25 inch handles. Aluminium and stainless steel. They're just beautiful razors. They're made to exacting standards. If you buy this and you buy this, you get the exact same blade cap, the exact same size handle, the exact same size head. The only thing that differs is the weight of the razor, and that's all about personal preference. I prefer light razors over heavy, which is pretty much bring on titanium, which will be in the middle of those two have the durability and the strength really of like stainless steel even though it'll be tougher but it'll be that beautiful happy medium I think in the weight. Right I'm done and dusted wonderful really nice that all them weepers have all closed up I've got a little one there all lick and flick you got it like your mum used to do brilliant works a charm really happy with that so I'm going to give this a good shake and I'm going to be using Lather Bros Winwood Aftershave Balm which smells incredible. A little bit so that much for the head. In fact, I think I'll do my head and face to gloss.
Yeah. Oh, menthol. The menthol is great with that scent. The pineapple is quite prominent. It's the most prominent scent, and then it's followed up by the, the licorice fennel scent. And the, the sandalwood's more of a, a back seat on the barn, to be honest. I don't get much of the sandalwood. I do get it in the silk, and I do like it in the silk, which is only a second for me. I think Regent, I think it was called Regent Silk was the first soap that I tried in sandalwood that I actually enjoyed, it was a nice scent. It wasn't a brilliant scent, but it was a nice scent. And that is me, done and dusted. What a lot of shit I've talked today. I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed this shave, I really have. Oh yeah, and watch the today, I think it was on this video of the head shave, I'm not sure. Samsung Galaxy, hang on a minute, I'll do a different one. It's the benefit of Android watches, you can do whatever you want. Let's go for a little bit more sort of modern chronograph. There we go, look at that. It's amazing what you can do with technology. Come on, focus. Brilliant. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.